Now, while several parts of the country recorded improved rainfall during this year, the Kunene region is experiencing severe drought, which has led to hundreds of livestock dying due to a lack of grazing areas. A number of members of parliament are in the Kunene region to assess the drought situation there. We are now joined by Member of Parliament, that is Nono Kashingiswa, who is the leader for the National Assembly delegation in the Kunene region. Uh, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Namibia. Good morning, the people of the great Kunene region. Now, last week, parliamentarians agreed to assess the impact of this drought on the Kunene region that I just mentioned, and this is to accelerate government's response to assist uh, the affected communities. Just talk to us about this briefly. Yes, a good question. The motion was tabled on the 21st of February 2021 and adopted on the 11th of March 2021. Thereafter, a committee was constituted to go and assess the drought situation in the region on an urgent basis. Mm -hmm. The committee consists of myself, Honorable Modestes Amutse, Honorable Hughes Auhab, and Honorable Kaleongere Sheundo. Now, you are the leader of, uh, for the National Assembly delegation to the uh, Kunene region. Talk to us about the mission for your visit. Uh, our um, mission is to assess to familiarize ourselves with the situation on the ground and also to investigate. This is in order to recommend for a long-term solution. So a report will be tabled in, into the National Assembly after this mission. Now, from the information gathered in the Kunene region, please describe you know, to us the extent of, of this drought. Yes, we started yesterday, and one can clearly see the effects of drought on the livelihood of the inhabitants and livestock in the area. So far, the team has covered one area, which is a poor urban constituency, and we will still cover four more constituencies. So at the moment, we cannot provide the full picture of the situation. Mm -hmm. An example the migration of people to outskirts of urban areas searching animal grazing. It's all what I cannot say now. All right. But we'll come back to you in the other few days. Are there any other concerns that were brought to your attention? Other, other concerns? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. My question, my question was, was there any yeah. other concerns, yeah, apart from, you know, the, the, the effect of this drought? Yes. Apart from the drought relief, social and humanitarian issues, we also raised such as education and health issues. Mm -hmm. That's all. Now, there's also reports uh, that in the Omasati, or Shana and Oshikota regions, they are also experiencing severe drought, which has led to food insecurity. Will these regions also be looked at? Yeah, uh, we as national leaders, but for now, the current mission is only for Kunene region, as manda mandated by the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. However, there are other government interventions through the regional disaster Risk Management Committee is instructed by the Office of the Prime Minister to assess drought situation in all 14 regions and in order for the government to address all concerns raised. Now, the delegation currently in the Karene region, their mission ends on Sunday. Uh, when can the affected communities, you know, get a response uh, from government? Uh, can you repeat your question? I was saying that the delegation's mission to the Kunene region ends on Sunday. Now, when can the affected communities within that region expect a response from government? Um, the government has already started responding and will continue responding. The fact that the government has started distributing drought relief to the people as well as fodder for life 
stock already. It's an indication that the government is really doing something. However, our mission report will add to the already existing intervention and other additional intervention as informed by this finding mission. All right. Well, Ms. Kashingiswa, thank you so much for your time this morning and thank you for speaking to us. Thank you very much and we'll come back to you. That was uh, Nono Kashingiswa, one of uh, the parliament uh, members and also leader of the National Assembly delegation to the Kunene region to assess uh, the drought uh, in that region.